Shalom. Parshat Akev. This is the third portion of the book of Devarim, Deuteronomy, and it continues in the perspective of Moses' final exhortations to the children of Israel. They're now one month ago before they enter the Promised Land. Moses is going to die at the end of the book, and that's sort of the drama of the narrative. The Parsha is full of admonitions of basically you should follow God's laws, uh, God took care of you, uh, there's consequences if you don't. But what's very interesting and I think uh, powerful in terms of the language and the ideas is the relationship between this and an earlier passage from last week in Vedchanan where you have the Vyahavta. There it says that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Now in this week's Parsha, and also one other passage to remember, in the Haftorah for Parshat Balak from the prophet Micah, Micah says, what does God want from you? In the Hebrew word there is doresh. Ma Adonai doresh mimcha. What does God want from you? Or like search for you. And Micah gives three answers there. He says you should do justice. Mishpat, you should love chesed, mercy. And you should uh, walk humbly with sneas with God. Now in this case you have very parallel language, except instead of the word doresh, the Torah says, Ma Adonai Elohecha Shoel. What does God ask? Shoel. And here there are various answers in the text. This is from chapter 10. First of all, Yira. Now Yira can mean either awe or fear. But you should have a sense of powerful awe. In fact, there's nothing in the world that you should be in awe of as much as God. Have awe for God. With the most utmost respect you can possibly imagine. It also says you should have Yira for your fa- mother and father in the Torah. Uh, in fact, uh, last week at Hanan we had the second set of the Ten Commandments. And commandment number five was Kaved et Avicha Vadimecha. You should honor your father and mother. The other major mitzvah in the Torah dealing with parents says you should have Yira for your mother and father. And the reason why they switched the order, the rabbi said, was because you're more likely to have Kavod for your mother, so put your father first. And you're more likely to have Yira for your father, Oa, so put your mother first. In any case, the Torah here says you should have Yira for God, Oa. It also says, Lalechet, in this way. How do you walk in God's way? Well, uh, we the word for walk, Lalechet, is the root, same root as the word Halacha, the law. And so rabbinic Judaism is believed that the best way we can walk in God's way is to do what God wants us to do, which is expressed through the Halacha, how, how it's understood. Of course, there are some differences between how the conservative rabbis understand halacha and the orthodox rabbis understand halacha, uh, but basically the principle is the same. You should walk in the way that God wants us to. And then it says, Ulahava, it's the same word as v'yahavta from v'adchanan last week. You should love God. How do you command a feeling? Well, again, most of the commentators said what you need to do for ahava is to do actions, to express your love for God. You show God's love by doing what God wants us to do. But you have to have, have, to have that feeling of ahava, of love. And then it says ula avod. You have to serve God. Now, avodah can mean slavery. It can also mean service or worship. You have to worship. In this case, it probably means that you should worship God. That the only source worthy of our worship is not money, it's not idols, it's not some rock star, it's God. Ula hava. And then just to make sure we get the point, it, it's the final phrase is lishmor mitzvotav, that you should guard or observe the commandments of God. And so we have in this passage the most important question in the world. You know, John Kennedy said, don't ask what you, uh, your country can do for you, ask what uh, you can do for your country, and the other way around. In this case, it should be, The only real relevant question is not what can God do for me, but what can I do for God? Because what the Parsha is trying to say, what Moses is trying to say is, asking the question, what I can do for God, how do I best serve God? Through being in awe of God, through walking in God's way, through loving God, through worshiping God, through observing the commandments, then I get the, the real rewards of life, a spiritual life, the life of living a holy life. And that is really the key idea of the Torah. And so we have in this simple f- section, this few verses of this brilliant speech by Moses, trying to prepare the people for free and independent living in the promised land, this key idea to love God by, by awe, by walking God's ways, by loving God, by worshiping God, by observing the commandments. Shalom.